Hey, it's Joe Vonderschmidt with Century 21 Results, Go With Joe and Co. And I'm here for another live episode of A Cup of Joe live every Wednesday at 8 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, talking all things real estate. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Please let me know that you're here watching because I can't see that you're watching, but I can see your comments and questions. So if you guys have any topic suggestions for following weeks, or if you are a vendor and would like to be featured on the show, please comment, direct message me, let me know that you're interested. <clears throat> also, if you guys would like a Cup of Joe coffee mug or t-shirt, please let me know and I'll get that to you. But I'm very excited about today's episode. I'm here with Grant Brondike uh, with Presidential Relocation Services, a moving company. And I'm very excited about this because uh, obviously, you know, moving has something to do with real estate, number one, but also... Um, I feel like Grant and I, although we're from two totally different businesses, we have very like mind. We're very like minded in the way that we go about our business. So, Grant, thanks for being here. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Awesome. And what I just kind of want to say to the crowd is that as we approach the summer season, you know, everybody knows, as you know, the real estate market's extremely hot, which means that the moving market is extremely hot as well. So, throughout the show, we're going to give you some tips. We're going to tell you a little bit about my business and how it works well with Joe's business. And uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. Awesome. That sounds good. And uh, Grant, just so you know, um, he did the pers uh, my personal move. He's done a lot of my clients moves for their house. He is my go-to mover uh, whenever I have somebody asking, who, who do you recommend for moving companies? So um, he's, he's done a great job for me and many of my clients. So Grant, just to get started, um, so tell me how you, how you got into the moving industry. Okay, so it's kind of a unique story. Um, I never thought when I was going through college that I was going to be a mover. Nobody, I don't think anybody plans on being a mover. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really just an opportunity for me. I was a college kid that really wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I saw an opportunity in the moving business. One of my mom's friends was moving and didn't really like any of her movers that mm -hmm. you know she saw or that she had come out to her house and I asked if I gathered some buddies and rented some trucks if I could do it. Mm -hmm. And she said, yes. <laughs> and it was, it, it was literally as simple as that. So I, she trusted you to do the move for her house, even though you've never done a move before. That's exactly right. Because there's, there's no competition really in the moving industry that well, I don't want to say there's no competition, but what I mean is, there's very little, there's very few moving companies mm -hmm. that you feel like from start to finish, you can fully trust. Right. And this lady had known me forever. And so she trusted me and I'd always done some side work for them, cut their yard, yeah. things like that. And but so you make a good point there because it is hard to trust somebody to come into your house, handle all your valuables, not break them, not steal them. You don't want to feel like you're always like moving day can be a stressful day. So you don't want to feel like you're having to hover over everybody working in your house right. because you're worried about what they're going to do with your stuff. That's exactly right. And what a lot of people, you know, we've kind of broken this down in a couple of different ways, but something that I always say to my employees and that we also say to our customers is that, you know, just think about this, your house and the things in your house is literally everything you've ever worked for. Mm -hmm. You know, think about you. You know, I know that you like to grill. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason that, you know, you work hard, you have a Traeger mm -hmm. and that is something that you worked for. And that's my guys that move that, right. you know, so we kind of take a more personal approach and you have to be able to trust your movers. So jumping back to your original question, it was out of an opportunity. Yeah. You know, when I, when I did this lady's move, I recognized that, Hey, I, I did okay on, on this financially mm -hmm. and that I feel like. I could offer something to the market that wasn't there. Right. So um, long story short, I did her move, come back, quit my job, launched a moving company on a whim. <laughs> and two years later, here we are. That's crazy. That's crazy. So um, guys, once again, just wanted to remind you to make sure you comment. Let me know that you guys are here watching. Uh, give us a good morning. We appreciate you guys being here. Can't see that you're watching. So be sure to comment um, below so we can see that you're here with us. So Grant, going back to you, um, so do you guys just do, I mean, you, so you started a couple of years ago. Are you just doing local moves or do you do any long distance or tell me about that? Yeah, so 
in all seriousness, you know, we're so busy with local moves mm-hmm. right now that that's really the the focus of where the business is right now. Mm-hmm. Now, that's not saying that we don't do long distance moves because we absolutely do. However, um, we're really focusing on building our, our local clientele. We want you to see our trucks going around locally yeah. a, as we build a name for ourselves instead of, you know, going out of the state. So we're really... The answer to your question is yes, we do both. Mm -hmm. However, um, primarily, primarily the local stuff. That's correct. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Candice. Really appreciate you guys being tuned in this morning. Um, so Grant, here's a good question. What advice would you give to homeowners to help the moving process go as smooth as possible? That is a good question. Um, there's a lot of things obviously as you prepare for move day and the size of your house is, a big deal as, as we think about advice, right? So if you have a 1500 square foot apartment, Mm -hmm. you know, there's not as much prep work that needs to be done as a 7,000 square foot Mm -hmm. home. However, I think any advice that I could give across the board is especially in the summer season, number one, pick your movers early. Mm -hmm. Um, all moving companies are really busy right now. Mm -hmm. And just like you're really busy as a realtor, we're extremely busy moving all your clients. Mm-hmm. So um, I would say, number one, pick your movers early. Give them at least three weeks in mm-hmm. advance. Um, number two, be prepared. So what I mean by being prepared is don't think that, you know, your movers are just going to handle everything mm-hmm. because they absolutely can, but you're going to pay for that, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're on a budget, then the more you can do packing and stuff like correct that. Yeah. packing, disassembling beds, unhooking your washer and dryer. You know, if you have access to an SUV or a truck, I would say, you know, move your own boxes or some of them. Um, those are some things that number one will help cut costs, but number two will really help prepare you for when your movers come in, they grab the big stuff. They take care of the heavy load for lack right. of better terms and you receive a really good product that's you know not terribly expensive as well. Right. Kyle, Amy, thank you for being here this morning. Very excited to have Grant with us this morning discussing um, some, some options with moving and how to make that process go as smooth as possible. So um, here, here's another good question for you. We've taught, you've done my personal move, so I've seen what makes you different than right. a lot of moving companies out there. But I want you to tell everybody what makes you different, what makes your company different than the rest of competing moving companies out there? Cause there's a yeah. lot of them. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a great question. And it's what we always say in my business. And you've probably heard me say this is we don't want to be better. We want to be different. Mm-hmm. And you know, how are we going to pick up a couch better than two men in a truck? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know <laughs> how you can do that. Right. Maybe not beat up the wall so much. Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> but we want to do things differently from start to finish the entire process from when you call the office to when the truck pulls away and closes the door, the process is going to be different. And the way that we go about being different is, is multifaceted. So number one, all of our employees work for us. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any day labor. We don't have any contractors. Every employee is a W2 employee, which means that we can kind of vet them in a different way. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so that's the first thing. Number two, all of our employees are background checked and drug tested. Mm -hmm. So we approach our hiring process in the same way that a white collar company would, Mm -hmm. you know, you have to go through multi, a multiple level interview process. You have to do your background check. You have to do your drug test. Um, so all that to say, we have higher quality people that we send into your home. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get the guy that you know, just came off the street or that is in a, you know, some sort of recovery Mm -hmm. program. Um, obviously we will invest in those people and do that, but those aren't the people that we as a company are going to send into your home. Right. We're going to send you the best of the best. And that's one of the ways that we're different with the people that come into your home. And then the final level is we have something to prove, Mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're still a small business Mm -hmm. and no matter what happens in your move, we're going to take care of it. So if for some reason, you know, there were to be damage or, you know, anything that happens, 
we want at the end of the day for you to be happy as the customer. Right. And so we have something to prove. We have to be different. We can't just say, oh man, it stinks for you as the customer. No, we, we're going to take care of it. And so yeah. I think from start to finish, we're different because number one, we send better people into your home. Mm -hmm. Number two, we know that we have something to prove. And then number three, our goal isn't to be better, it's to be different. Yeah. So we don't even believe that we're in the same class as other moving companies. So I can tell you, I don't know if you remember this or not, whenever you moved me about a year ago, um, you know, we bought a house that we planned on, we, we, we were wanting to renovate and mm -hmm. we did that. So we planned on moving, we, we planned on moving in after the renovation, but then things changed. We moved right. in pretty soon after we closed on the house and just decided to live in the basement while we were doing the renovation mm -hmm. up on the main level and upstairs. So you moved in all of our stuff and I was, it was pouring rain. Right. So of course, when you're moving stuff from the truck into the house and the pouring rain, you're going to track stuff in. But I, I walk in the house and I see you cleaning the floors of my house. I'm like, Grant, what the heck are you doing? Like this starting Monday is going to be a construction zone. There's no need to clean everything. And you're like, no, don't worry about it. And you're sitting there cleaning my, the main floors of my house. Right. So, well, you know, to, to that point, all of our guys do that. That's not just something that I did for you. Yeah. That's something that we want to leave your home better than we found it. Yeah. And when we showed up to your house, to your new house, there was not mud in it. Yeah. So when we leave, there's not going to be mud in it. And, you know, what we think is, hey, this is your new house. There's a reason that you chose this. When we finish, we don't want to leave you with trash. So all of our shrink wrap and, and tape and all of our materials are going to be cleaned up. Um, we're going to clean the floors. We're going to clean anything that we tracked in. And that's just through and through. That's how, that's one of the ways we're different as well. You know, it's when you move into your home, you shouldn't have to work, right? You hired us to do the work. So that's one of the reasons that we did that. Awesome guys. Once again, if you're here watching, I can't see that you're watching unless that you comment. Uh, so please comment, let us know that you're here and good morning to all you guys that are tuned in. Even if you're watching on replay, be sure to let us know that you're here. And thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, so here's here's another question. Um, so tell me about your pricing structure and how competitive are you with your pricing? Right. So we're super competitive with pricing. And, mm -hmm. and I don't when I say this, I don't mean that we're the cheapest by mm -hmm. any means, but I also don't mean that we're the most expensive. You bring the most value. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly where I was going yeah. with that. So with that said. You know, we like to say that we're in the same pricing structure as the two men in a truck, the college hunks. You know, when I when I built this company and I started my my pricing, mm -hmm. I built it off of people that you would know, that you would recognize. Mm -hmm. If I say, yeah, we're the same price as Joe Blow's moving company, nobody knows who that is. Right. If I say that we're competitive with two men in a truck, mm -hmm. you're gonna know who that is. Right. So that's really where our pricing is. We're not we're not the price of this super exclusive white glove moving company. Um, we're right in the mix of all the others, but we do deliver the most value for our prices. Awesome. That's great. Um, another question is uh, for anybody here watching today or any of my clients, do you have any incentives to give them on their next move? Absolutely. So we always like to work with Century 21 and specifically go with Joe. You know that. <laughs> so what what I'd love to do is anybody that's watching um, that books in the month of May, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to give you $100 off your move. Okay. And so that's really just to incentivize your clients. Yeah. And that's to let y'all know that, you know, we enjoy being a partner with you and that we really enjoy serving your clients. We love what you do. And like you said at the beginning, you know, we've, we're kind of on the same level of mm -hmm. the way that we think, the way that we run our businesses. And so, you know, we, like I said, we love serving your people and would love to, to offer that to them. So two totally different businesses, but working towards the same goal and have the same mindset about, about going about things. So guys, Grant just said, if you would book a move, if you book a move in the month of May, you just got a book, you don't have to move in May. You can uh, get a hundred dollars off your next move. That's what he's willing to do for you guys. That's exactly so that's right. awesome. Well, guys, thank you for being here for another episode of A Cup of Joe live every Wednesday at 8 a.m. discussing all things real estate. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below. We try to get them all answered live during the show, but even if you're watching on replay, we will make sure to get them answered in the comments. 
If you guys have any topic suggestions for following weeks, uh, please let us know. Or if you're a vendor that would like to be, be featured, please feel free to reach out to me. Would love to talk with you. Would love to connect. And again, if you would like a Cup of Joe mug or t-shirt, Grant got his this morning. Um, <laughs> thanks for being here again, Grant. Um, we will see you guys next week at 8 a.m.